What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy and welcome back to the Savvy Show. And before we get started, I just want to hope that you guys all had a great and relaxing weekend. For me, it was pretty hectic. I couldn't catch a break, but now I get to relax and dive deep into some SCPs with the family. So with that being said, I had to dive deep into a juicy one, guys. It's, it's been too long for me, it feels like. And this is going to be about SCP-682, how to kill it, theories and ideas, guys. So with this SCP, if you guys have been following my journey, we already dived deep into some animations about how to kill it his background and everything so it's interesting to see if this is going to be anything different or new ideas that we haven't you know came across yet that's what i'm more excited for and hopefully that's what we get today so with that being said if you guys are excited for this reaction please remember to smash that like button also smash the sub button if you're not already part of the family and remember i do have a patreon if you want to dive deep and support the kid and further my goal of being a youtube creator full time so that being said without any further ado Let's get this show started. Alrighty, how to kill SCP-682. Theories and ideas. Let's go. SCP-682, does it even require an introduction? The SCP Foundation thinks this cantankerous reptile needs a serious attitude adjustment, by which we mean they really, really want to kill it. But as you might have seen in our previous videos on the subject, they don't call this monstrosity the hard-to-destroy reptile for nothing. <laughs> we know. That's why we've done what the Foundation isn't allowed to. We outsource the dirty job of squashing this lizard to all of you. Oh? We made a community post asking for your ideas on how this scaly abomination can finally be destroyed. Okay. And you delivered big time. Okay, so this is going to be similar to like, if you look at the Shy Guy on the Moon, if you guys remember that theories and um, idea video, I feel like it's just going to be like this. The SCP community is going to talk about their ideas about how they think they could kill it. So this will be interesting. Let's dive deep. A truly staggering amount with over 6,000 comments. Sheesh. Now let's see if we can finally get our answer. Because believe us, the Foundation is desperate at this point. <laughs> I don't know what to write for a name said. The most effective way that Dr. Bright approves of. Chainsaw Cannon. As awesome as a chainsaw cannon would probably be to use, it sadly wouldn't be very effective against SCP-682. Yeah, come on, get some better Chainsaws ideas. Chainsaws are blades, and we know from the termination test logs that blades have been ineffective. Even when SCP-682 is chopped up into tiny little pieces, those pieces have a nasty habit of reforming into the big, ugly monster we all know and fear. Jeez. Awesome Cardinal said, The SCP Foundation could try to bring it to the void in Russia where the Pattern Screamers are. This was a popular idea, and the Foundation actually tried this. The SCP being referred to here is SCP-3930, a big old pile of nothing in Russia that causes things inside it to stop existing. When they threw SCP-682 inside, it technically did stop existing. Despite this, it could still be perceived, and still cause the deaths of all surrounding researchers. Wait, what? It stopped existing, but it could still be perceived? That seems like just a walking contradiction. <laughs> like, what the heck? We shall see. Though. Fifteen hours later, it what? just reappeared in its containment chamber. Apparently totally fine. Wow. You can probably see why the Foundation is frustrated by this thing. Score Crow and friends said, Black Hole, need I say more? You may need to say a little more. Yeah. For starters, there would be logistical issues in actually getting the creature anywhere near a black hole. But there's also the concern that it may just adapt its body to respond to the intense gravity present near a black hole. Bro. Or even scarier, somehow adapt to reproduce the powers of a black hole. It probably no would be way. at risk of ending up with a reptile capable of creating gamma ray bursts. Stellar Solar Sky said, Put the reptile inside nuclear fusion and watch its particles disappear. The Foundation tried something pretty close to this by trying to they put it did? inside SCP-536, a chamber where they can use dials to control the physical contents within. They increased the speed of light and nuclear force within the chamber, which caused SCP-682 to disintegrate until all that was left was a piece of matter 1% of its original size. Uh, However, enough. the creature then reformed and killed the researchers. Later tests showed <laughs> that its body had become an unknown form of matter, Held together by quantum effects impossible to unravel with our current understanding of science. What? Brea Fun said. Wait, did he go back to his original form then? <laughs> damn, damn, they should have at least covered that. That would have been something interesting to dive deep in. If it was always like that and he couldn't turn back. That's why he's floating around in that form now. But, um, 
Wait, actually, I'll hold that off towards the end of the video, and I'll talk about like my theory about how you guys could actually kill this SCP. <clears throat> so you know that coffee machine thing that is 294? Type in 682 killing substance, and then repeat that until you have enough to fill its entire room. Then fill it. This they was did actually video. try this, yeah. and the resulting substance was effective in damaging SCP-682's tissue. That was in the last However, video. The one problem is that it's extremely difficult to produce enough of this stuff to actually submerge the creature. Worse still, if enough was made to cause significant damage to the body of SCP-682, it may adapt to the chemical as a defense mechanism making it ineffective as a weapon. Jeez. Its adaptive ability is truly SCP-682's greatest asset when it comes to thwarting the Foundation's constant attempts to kill it. Alex Webb said, Ask it kindly to die. We don't believe that the what? Foundation has actually ever tried this one. But just based on the fact that SCP-682 is a huge oh my jerk God. on top of being an omnicidal monster, he probably wouldn't respond to polite requests. And he hates humans, why would they listen to you? Said, I wonder if Doomslayer could defeat the reptile. He's torn through every demon in hell and even titans. Ooh. So would 682 be a challenger or just another Tuesday for the Slayer? That'd be That's cool. a slightly trickier one. Of course, since they exist in different universes, we'll never see an official Wait. battle between the Doom Slayer and SCP-682. Sorry, I was thinking about not Doom Slayer, the Dragon Slayer. That would be kind of cool to see them go at it. But I'm pretty sure this SCP could probably tank anything the Dragon Slayer would, you know, throw at it. But it'll still be interesting to see that battle. However, given that the Doom Slayer's weapons are all conventional, meaning largely based around slashing, crushing, shooting, and blasting, we don't know whether he'd actually be able to slay the beast. That being said, we don't know if 682 could kill him either. We could have a stalemate on Old man. hands here. Amanda Brenneman said, I asked my sister, who's never heard of SCPs, this question, and her answer was, you hit it again. Amanda, your sister may be the one to finally stop this creature. Getting the two of them in the same room may be the biggest logistical problem here. Samuel what? Pasquale said, They had over 6,000 comments, but you're reading these ones where it's like, come on, it's not even worth a theory or idea to even entertain. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm being honest. I mean, you had over that many comments? Come on, man. What are these guys doing? Down SCP-087 so he suffers and is contained once and for all. In the improbable case, he is still alive. SCP-087. The Endless Staircase can be a dangerous anomaly for humans who don't know what they're getting into. However, SCP-682 would likely detect the threat far earlier than any human oh. and then breach containment. It's definitely gotten out of stickier situations. Oh, five. Yashishiri Chara said, Send him to Endless Ikea where he will be trapped forever. Ah. Much like SCP-087, <laughs> cool. the Endless Ikea would impose the same threat to SCP-682 as it would for the average human trapped inside. The staff would be no trouble for 682, and it would be able to devote pretty much all of its time in there to finding a way out. And when he did finally break out, he'd probably be armed with a terrifying knowledge of how to correctly assemble a Svendendrok. We shudder at the thought. Jack Voss <laughs> said, Oxygen Destroyer. Used to deal with another big lizard issue back in 1954. What? Sadly, this would also likely be an ineffective weapon against SCP-682, because the creature thrives in anaerobic environments, seeing as its native atmosphere seems to have no oxygen, and according to Foundation tests, it can survive just fine in a vacuum. Whether SCP-682 could take Godzilla. Godzilla in a fight is still up for debate. Hell no. And you can argue about which lizard would reign supreme. Godzilla. Comments. Ace Goodwin said, just don't kill him. Let him live, bro. He hasn't done anything wrong yet. Let him vibe in his chamber. Let him live, bro. Did SCP-682 write this? <laughs> a lot of you said throw him That's a funny sun. one. While the sun is a gigantic nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees, there is the issue of not only being beyond difficult to incapacitate the creature for long enough to get into the rocket, but also the problem of the sun being 93 million miles away from Earth. It's a long trip there no matter what. And during that time, SCP-682 would almost definitely figure out a way to return to Earth. How? It might even rewire the rocket and turn it into its own personal vehicle. Okay, there's no way. He can't do stuff like that, can he? Rewire a rocket? I don't think he's that intuitive to come up with something like that. I'm, I'm just being, maybe Maybe I'm wrong, who knows, but I'm probably, I probably am. But that would be kind of crazy. Well, that's a little excessive to me. Giving it the freedom to cause <clears throat> chaos around the solar system. And even if everything else went well, SCP-682 would still probably survive being thrown into the sun. 
After all, the Gate Guardian's flaming sword is described as being hotter than the sun, and it didn't manage to kill the hard-to-destroy reptile. When did that happen? Pokemon Red Boy said, send him to Mars and launch a nuke that can destroy a planet along with the SCP. While a nuke capable of destroying the planet of Mars would also likely destroy SCP-682 in the process, the destruction of Mars itself would likely cause such a catastrophic shift in our neck of the solar system that we'd probably die along with it. The question at that point is whether it's really worth killing ourselves to take down the lizard. Oh. Artemis said, let it live with 999 its entire life and it's not a threat. This is a double-edged sword. During their cross test, SCP-999 did pacify SCP-682 and put it in a state of bliss and laughter for a brief period. However, this actually resulted in a pretty catastrophic tragedy, too. 682 adapted to 999's effects and released a beam of laughter that incapacitated everyone around it, wow. allowing it to escape and go on a killing spree. So maybe the two are better kept apart. Doctor was upset. I'd give 682 a jar of pickles to open, and the jar would be so tight that SCP-682 couldn't open it, and he would be so embarrassed by it that he would just destroy himself. <laughs> he may funny. actually be onto something here. We know we'd be extremely embarrassed if we couldn't open the jar, but there are three major problems. One, where does one get such a jar? Can SCP-343 make a jar of pickles so difficult to open that he himself can open it? Possibly. Two, we don't know if SCP-682 <clears throat> likes pickles enough to make opening the jar an attractive prospect. <laughs> and three, if it does turn out that it likes pickles, it would probably just eat the jar, too. Shuvo Batachaji said, To deal with him, in my opinion, send SCP-682 into SCP-3001, aka the Red Reality. That's my theory. This could potentially be an effective method of trapping SCP-682 for a period of time. However, the problem is that there's no reliable way to access the Red Reality. I still need to cover that one. The only one. person who's ever really been inside is Robert Scranton, and he ended up there completely by accident. So this doesn't seem to be a reliable neutralization method for SCP-682. I'm surprised I haven't covered that one yet, Adding too. Adding to that, the panel that Dr. Scranton was transported to the Red Reality with eventually came back. Which means that it blood? might only be a temporary solution anyway. Mistake to society, yay, said. Can someone ride SCP-682 without them dying? This isn't technically about neutralizing SCP-682, but it deserves an answer. Well, in the animation where it was like, we must kill the O5 council. One of the O5 council members, I feel like it was like the administrator. Not the administrator, the person that's in control of the military. He was riding SCP-682. Like, literally, like, he was sitting down riding, riding him. So, that, that would be your answer. Yeah, it's possible. If that animation is um, accurate. While it appears that some people are able to ride 682, such as SCP-053, the little girl, and 05-6, a.k.a. the American in the Ouroboros cycle, there you go. he doesn't seem to enjoy it. At least he didn't when SCP-082, better known as Ferdinand the Cannibal, attempted it. Of course, Ferdinand describes their relationship quite differently, insisting that 682 is his Bayard, his magical steel. Oh my god. Laura Garcia said, chop it up. Put the pieces in a giant bowl with egg beaters, stirring it constantly so it can't reanimate. Keep it kinetically moving so it doesn't ever have the rest time to reform. Oh, that's interesting. Giant egg beating machine to prevent reformation. Killing it would take a Rigel Sunblast to stop it from reanimating itself. This has got to be one of the most creative ones we've encountered. Yeah, that's a, actually a good one. Rye probably wouldn't think to use giant whisks on the beast. However, it probably wouldn't kill the ordinary creature for good. As we've said before, not only has the beast regenerated from things as hot as the sun, he's also able to re-manifest from the tiniest atoms, or even nothing at all. On the plus side, he may reanimate with a new super whisking ability, and could potentially give SCP-5031 a run for best cook and containment. Oh no. Shaked Ben Yakar said, I think they need to explode him from the inside, because maybe there's one spot in his body that isn't invincible, and if they hurt it, SCP-682 will die. The problem with SCP-682 isn't necessarily that it's invincible, just hyper-adaptive and hyper-regenerative. As you may have seen in other videos, SCP-682 has been shot, dismembered, burned, frozen, vaporized, blown up, partially eaten, and even totally disintegrated. But it always manages to come back, even from the smallest specks of matter. It would almost be admirable if it wasn't a perpetually aggressive murder monster. Brybot said, put it in 106's pocket dimension. 
This actually happened once during a containment hmm. breach, where the old man as well as SCP-953, the polymorphic humanoid, ended up in 682's cell. Uh -oh. SCP-106 dragged them all into its pocket dimension for a bit of the odd ultraviolence. And when they emerged, <laughs> it was clear that they'd all taken considerable damage. SCP-682 wasn't killed, though. And 106 hasn't tried anything like that again since. Wow. Non-player Cactus said, Trick him into killing John Wick's dog. To be fair, oh my God. if anyone could take this monster down, it'd probably be John Wick. That's why he's on the thumbnail. SCP 682 <laughs> might be too smart to actually kill his dog in the first place. And if he did manage to best John Wick, well, we hate to think what a 682 with the martial prowess and gun skills of John Wick. Oh would be my like. God! <laughs> Actually, we don't need to think about it because it would be awesome. I'll be insane. These are just a little taster plate of the huge and varied potential murder methods you've devised for this terrible creature. But there were just too many good ones, so we'll have to save the rest for another day. <laughs> That's Which means cool. It isn't too late to tell us yours. Let us know your Shall idea I? down in the comments. Oh no! And make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and keep an eye on our community tab. So you can be part of the next video. Now check okay, so I have a few ideas that I was going to dive deep about how to actually kill SCP-682. Um, the first one is what was already, you know, confirmed is the easier one. Oh, death. I know that's going to kill everyone else. But, I mean, if you're focusing on just killing SCP, how to kill it, use oh, death. And then also, about, they're touching upon one of my other ideas. Set them on a planet and then blow up that planet or like nuke that planet, but do that in another dimension where there's no humanity. I'm sure they could find or um, they could make a, a real get a reality warper at a higher degree where they could create like a certain, you know, universe or their own reality within it, make a planet there, somehow transfer SCP 682 over there, and then nuke the planet he's on. Boom. You don't have to worry about any casualties and he's dead completely. Win win. Honestly, and then you could just tell the person that was like the reality warper to um, destroy the reality or like wipe it out of existence or in turn just put them in a reality that they made and then completely erase it if they're strong enough. And then I don't think there's no way he could come back because he's been erased within that said reality or universe if they don't want to actually blow up, if there's actually humanity there. But I doubt it. But that's just my few theories that I had. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all the ones that they, they discuss and my own if you guys like. And also remember to smash the sub button, join the family if you're not already part of it. And hit me up on Patreon if you'd like to join that side. So with that being said, unfortunately, that concludes today's episode. However, I'll catch you guys on the next one.